Welcome to Bobby's Kitchen. Today we are going to make smoked salsa. So I've got my smoker going outside. I've got to set it to 225 degrees and I'm going to use mesquite chips on this because I'm going to want the southwestern Mexican thing going on. So I'm going to get started here on the vegetables and then I'm going to put them in the smoker. So let's get started. So I've washed all my vegetables and what I'm just going to do is I've got a uh, aluminum pan here. I know it'll fit inside the smoker. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, cut the tops and the, the bottoms of these off and then just quarter them and then put them into the pan. And I'm just going to leave the seeds and everything in these. So I'm just going to go ahead and these in there and then I've also got some green peppers I've got a uh, purple onion and I've got some Anaheim chilies and I also have some uh, jalapenos so I'm just going to go ahead with the vegetables and finish this up and then we'll be back okay I've got all my vegetables done up here and stuff I've got uh, onions tomatoes the Anaheim peppers the jalapenos I have some minced garlic in there and I also put some uh, canned corn in there. So I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get the mesquite smoke going and we're going to put this on the uh, smoker at about 225-250 degrees for about three hours. like a uh, amazing too but it's not a from amazing and I may like that and put that in there just to see how it works since I haven't tried it yet so I think I'll go get that and try that okay ordered this from Amazon it's not an amazing tube it's like a knockoff it was quite a bit cheaper than the uh, amazing tube but it's pretty good heavy construction so I think I'm gonna fill this up and try to see how this works so let's do this this can be also used with chips or pellets either one I said so. So far the wood in there and stuff that I put in there is smoking fine, so I think I'm just going to leave that for now. If I need to use this, I will. Um, if not, then I'll probably just dump the chips back in, but it's pretty good heavy duty. So, so like I said, you could use this for just cold smoking. That's the nice thing about it, just light it and uh, let it go. Just put it in there without the heat going. So, anyway, we'll see how things progress. Okay, this has been smoking for about an hour and a half, and I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and stir it around a little bit. And I did go ahead and put the uh, wedge thing in there. And it smokes like crazy. Smells really good. I'm trying to get some of these vegetables that haven't got any smoke on them to the top. And I'll put that back in there. And you can tell it burnt up all the chips in there so I think I'll load that up again okay here's the salsa after it's smoked uh, for three hours 
So I went ahead and picked all the tomato skins off of everything in there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead. I did go ahead and pick out the peppers and I'll add those in a little at a time and stuff until I get to the heat level that I want. So I've got my food processor out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add a little of this uh, salsa a little at a time and then go ahead and blend it up. Pour it out and get, get it to the consistency that I want. Try to get some of those bigger chunks of stuff in here first. Because I try to like, kind of like to keep the corn semi solid if I can. And you can freeze this, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing because I don't want to go to all the trouble to try to can it. Alright, and then I got some cilantro here. So I've got the, uh, got a couple limes that I'm going to go ahead and juice and put that in there as well. Let's try one to begin with, and then I'm going to need a little salt and pepper. Get this mixed up a little bit.
And it also goes everywhere. I don't think I have any chips. No. Go figure. Oh, I do have some more chips. That does need the heat in it. So we're just going to dump the whole thing in there. Could actually used even more hot peppers in that, so but it's kind of it's got a nice smoky flavor to it. This is pretty good. I think I might put just a little bit more lime juice in there, but a little bit more salt. And I think probably the longer this sits, the better it'll get because usually any kind of sauce or anything like that, that's generally the way it works. Let's try this. So. I like that. That's good. So, I call it. I'll call that recipe a keeper. So, we'll put this in the fridge so it gets good and cool and have some later on. So, thanks for watching. This is actually very easy to do. Um, so, like I said, you just chop up all your vegetables, put them in the smoker or whatever, or smoke it for three hours and adjust the heat the way you want it, put whatever kind of vegetables you want in there. I probably would have put some uh, black beans in there if I would have had them, but I don't have them. So, anyway, so, so thanks for watching my video.